why not gift something original this year and have fun shopping for it in the process? <laughs> yeah, you can do that this weekend during Sturgeon Bay's Art Crawl. Jordan is at one of the stops on the tour. Good morning. It looks pretty warm in there, Jordan. Hey, good morning, guys. It's cold outside, but it's very warm in here. In fact, art making, or actually glass making, is one of my secret fascinations. I watch videos all the time on this on YouTube, and now I get to see it in person. I'm so excited. Joining me here is Stephanie, and Hi. where are we exactly? So we're in Sturgeon Bay yeah. um, at the Popelka Trenchard Glass Studio, yeah. and uh, we are participating in the Sturgeon Bay Art Crawl this weekend. Okay. And we actually have some glass making going on right now. That is Jeremy, who is doing that. And are you guys actually going to be using this as part of this weekend? Actually, yes. This piece will be available for sale during the event. All right. Very cool. Hopefully. We don't, we don't like to hedge our bets, but uh, that's <laughs> what, the plan. What is, he, what is he working on? What is he making? Well, he's going to make a vessel or a vase, and um, it's going to be fairly large from what I can tell. And mm -hmm. I think he's going to roll it in some blue color and then possibly do a wrap. Correct, Jim? Yeah, yeah, wrap, and right. uh, and so it's a sort of a Venetian technique of um, glass blowing. That's very cool. How long have you guys been doing this here in Sturgeon Bay? So we've been in Sturgeon Bay for 21 years. Wow. Um, make, Jeremy's been making glass for over 35 years. We met in college. Uh, he was a glass major, and wow. I was a painting major. <laughs> so um, we've Look been in this building in Sturgeon Bay for 18 years. Okay, very cool. And you guys are part of the Art Crawl, uh, which has also been going on for quite some time—12 years. Uh, right. How long have you guys have been a part of the Art Crawl too, and just kind of showing off some of your work? Here? So we've had the pleasure of being part of the Art Crawl for 10 years. Wow. Um, there are 22 members this year, which is really wonderful. We have um, some wonderful new mediums that are involved. It's a very, um, it's a very great community event. Mm -hmm. And what are so? What are the different mediums? I mean, you have glass, uh, uh, painting, woodworking. Any more that are uh, ceramics, jewelry. Um, this year pastels. we're pastels. This year we're wow. incorporating um, a, a, two, a, a sound, a visual artist who does sound as well. Right. Um, That's weaving. cool. Weaving, yeah, textiles. Yeah, I'm forgetting some of them, but um, well. I saw the list earlier, and there's 20 different locations that people can actually go visit to, correct? Right, which is really wonderful because a lot of these are uh, people's private studios that are only open during this yeah. time of the year. So that's I, a special treat. And the goal of it all is to come through, kind of get inspired, and maybe pick something out that you can bring back home with you. Right, exactly. Yeah, so we kind of do it at the, during the holiday season so people can think about gifts, people can think about fine craft, original, one-of-a-kind artwork. Yes. I think it's very fascinating, too. And, uh, yeah, Jeremy's going to continue with this, too. I, I, there are some things over here that I'm just very fascinated with. All right, uh, what are some of the details with this event? When does it start? Um, so the, it starts on Friday at 10 a.m., and it goes uh, through Sunday. Every day it's 10 to 4 p.m., okay. and then we're having an opening reception party, which is actually really fun, on a Friday evening at Margaret Lockwood's studio. Okay. And everything's here in Sturgeon Bay. Is it within walking distance, or um, how do you...? No, we're a little more spread out, which is really great because people get the opportunity to go to the shore. They go a little bit up north. They get to really see a scenic part of all of Sturgeon Bay. A lot of it is downtown, but... Um, um, a big portion of it is on the outskirts. Basically, everyone has the 54235 <laughs> zip code. And it gives you an opportunity to just go explore and go see some things that maybe you haven't seen before within Door County. I know Door County itself is just a fascinating place. I keep saying fascinating. That's the it word for it today. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for, yeah. for people who want more information on this, where do you want them to go? Uh, SturgeonBayArtCrawl.com is our uh, website. You can also check our Facebook page. That has a link to everybody's websites, all the different studios. Um, there's a map on the website and also on Facebook. All right, very cool. We're going to continue to track the process of what's going on here. Uh, but this is one of the other pieces that are up for raffle this weekend. So this was made by an artist that we will talk to within the next segment. So make sure you're staying tuned for that. Oh, that's beautiful. Love right. to see those techniques. Thanks, Jordan.